What's up, everybody? Um, wanted to come and just talk about two things that are pretty important to me when I look at people and interactions and relationships. And, you know, for me, two things that I look for is, uh, number one, transparency. Second is uh, accountability. We'll start first with transparency. Um, for me, I, I've, and I've learned this along the years because I haven't always been as transparent as I am now, um, but I've learned that the more transparent I am, the easier the conversation to be because I've given everything that was on my mind in a respectful manner um, so that there isn't any, there isn't a hidden agenda, you know, straight from, you know, how I feel and my thoughts on it. Um, a lot of people, you know, frown upon those types of conversations and they take transparency as a way of, excuse my language, of being an asshole. But sometimes transparency is needed for things to be understood because without the transparency, then you're leaving a lot of gray area for the other person to interpret to try and figure out what you really mean. So for me, transparency is one of the biggest tools that I feel to help with advancement, with being successful, being in a workplace, being in a relationship. I feel like the more transparent that you can be, the better off. Now, you know, just because you say transparency doesn't mean that that conversation is going to be a difficult conversation. Not all transparent conversations are hard or difficult conversations. Majority of them are because a lot of folks don't want to hear the truth. A lot of folks don't know how to receive when someone is being completely transparent with them without taking it personal, without getting in their feelings over the transparency. So, you know, no matter how hard it may be, it's kind of disrespectful to not be transparent with something with someone especially if it's something of value and something of you know of importance you know just be straight up you know the more transparent you are the less room you leave for error you know what i mean so that's why i, I love transparency i love when my bosses are transparent i love when my friends are transparent and i think because i'm so transparent at times i can pick up when some folks aren't being transparent. They give you some of what they're trying to get across because if they, they feel like, they may feel that if they give you the full message, you may not receive it in a certain way. And that could be true. But at the end of the day, even if you receive the message the wrong way, you can respect that person you know, at the end of the day for their transparency and, and just being straight up about whatever. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, so transparency is key for me. And then now we get into accountability. The one thing that bothers me the most about people in friendships and in relationships and just any type of relationship, not an intimate relationship, just friendships, you know what I mean? Is when someone is not accountable. You know, everyone has a team of folks that they surround themselves with, um, people that they bounce ideas off, they ask questions, you know, basically consider that to be your team, you know? And if you have a group of people that are around you that are not holding you accountable for the things that you should be doing, especially if you're on a joint venture with those people and they're not holding you accountable, that crew is only as strong as your lack of accountability. You know what I mean? Because if you're the weak link, that, that team is not strong because them guys or gals aren't holding you accountable to do your part. And if you're not doing the same with others, you're just as weak as a person who's not you know, pulling their weight. You know what I mean? So it's been said that on the weakest teams, there is no accountability. No one's holding the leader accountable. No one's holding anyone else on that crew accountable. And those ten, tend to be the weakest teams. And in that same token, it says that on mediocre teams, bosses are the source of accountability. You know, if your team is just strictly mediocre, that means that only the boss is being held accountable for the production of that team. It says on high performance teams, the peers on that team manage the majority of the accountability with one another. If you're on a, a weak team, 
no one holds accountability. You're on a mediocre team, the only person being held accountable is the boss. If you're on a, you on, you know, a high performance team, everybody on that team is holding everybody accountable. If I have an issue with my colleague about their performance, I'm gonna talk with them. If they have the same issue with me, they're gonna talk with me. The boss rarely has to interject to hold anyone accountable because everyone else is holding everyone accountable. So you look at the same way with your friendships. You know, if everybody in your crew is holding everybody accountable for what they're tasked to do or what they're supposed to be doing, then nine times out of 10, your crew is gonna be successful. You guys are gonna climb, you guys are gonna grow, you guys are gonna expand. But if no one is holding anyone accountable, why, why do you even associate yourself with, the, with those folks? If you're not holding someone accountable for their actions, for what you know they they promise to do, or or for whatever reasons, just you know being uh, just holding them accountable for being a, a a good person, you know, follow through on the things that you say that you're gonna do. You know what I'm saying? Go that extra mile for your team, because if no one's holding you accountable, or you don't like when someone holds you accountable, then you're on the wrong team. Go 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 play by yourself and see how far that gets you because no one has made it to the top by themselves. It's been some sort of support by a team of friends, a crew, uh, some investor, some resources came from somewhere to help them get to that next phase. And that's what it's all about, transparency and accountability. With those two things, as hard as they may be at times, they're good in the long run because you know everything is not fun and games all the time. Sometimes you gotta buckle down and be like, hey bro, you slacking. You out there not doing what you're supposed to do. You, you know, you, you, you're showing poor values. You're bringing down the value of our team. You know what I mean? And if you can receive that and get better from it, then you're in the right place. But if you take it personal, you're getting your feelings, then you need to not be in that circle because the folks who receive those messages as a moment of encouragement and get better from it, man, you, you're gonna do nothing but be a better teammate, you're gonna help someone else, and at the same time, raise the team. So, you know, look at your friends and your relationships as like teams in, in the corporate setting. Because if you are in a group where people can't take constructive criticism that can help you be better, everything is not gonna be a compliment, but sometimes it's gonna be harsh criticism to help you get better, that's what you want. That's what you want, that's what accountability is about. And if you fall short, man, just own it and get back on it the next day. You know what I'm saying? Because that's the thing, like we're afraid to own our stuff, whether it be good or bad. If it's good, we're quick to own it. But if it's bad, if it's something super, it could be something super small. We're afraid to own it because of pride, because of judgment, because of whatever. But you need to be in a judgment-free crew with friends, who love you for you, want to see you do great, and you want to do, see the same for them. You know what I mean? That's, that's what it's about. That's what progression is about. That's what growth is about. It's not about being in your feelings. It's about, you know, stretching yourself beyond what you're, what you're used to doing to be better than you were the day before. So that's it for me, man. Two, two of, you know, two things that I hold highly in the people that I'm surrounded by you know, one is transparency and the other is accountability. And because I'm making this video doesn't mean that I'm 100 with transparency. I, I still struggle with it, but I try to be as transparent as possible, as well as with accountability. I've learned that, you know, be accountable for, for your actions, for your highs and your lows. You make an error at work, I own it. I don't run from my errors. I make an error with my friends, I forget something, I own it. Yo, my bad, bro, what can I do to, you know what I'm saying, fix it? I don't run from it, I don't act like I promised you something and then I just run away from it. If you don't say nothing, I ain't gonna say nothing. No, no, I hold myself accountable. You know what I'm saying? So, just think about it, transparency and accountability. Peace.